being part of campaigns has really been a part of our relationship really since uh, we met. I mean, we met on a blind date. And I think within a month, Beto told me that he was going to be running for city council. So, you know, our courtship was knocking on doors. And um, it seems like that has just continued throughout our marriage. But I honestly, this was the hardest race probably for me to to want to get into because we had just come off of being together for two years straight during COVID. And, you know, we spent more time together in those two years than we had probably collectively in our entire marriage. And um, it was just really wonderful to be together as a family. And so I was a little hesitant to, to jump back into this kind of life, but, um, you know, we, we, we understand it. We know it. The kids are, you know, uh, in a good routine. And I think they're also old enough now, you know, our oldest Ulysses is about to turn 16. Molly just turned 14. Henry is 11, just started middle school. And so a lot of the issues that we're talking about on the campaign, they now understand in a way that they really didn't, even when Beto was running for Senate um, a few years ago. And so that understanding, um, helps a lot on a day-to-day -day basis um, when they're missing their dad. And then we just try to find ways to stay connected. So, you know, Beto and Henry were watching Stranger Things when they were together this summer, and now they're streaming it together at night, um, each on their own device, you know, hundreds of miles apart. So we're figuring out ways to, to maintain and, um, you know, be together in different ways. That's 